feed the plow because the Little Mermaid was all sold out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just here to see it and support Lizzie. I can't wait to see it. I think she's great for the play and yeah. I can't wait to see it. It kind of says volumes about how much we love her that practically the entire cast is here tonight. You know, we just adore her. Really, I'm looking forward to seeing Elizabeth Moss because she's I'm in love with her as an actress and I think she's amazing. But I'm also really looking forward to seeing Raul because I hear that he is uh, magnificent. This Jeremy Piven, of course, too, is nothing to uh, nothing to you know wink at, nothing to the Sarah Palin smirk at. I have never seen this play. I love this play. I've read it, but I've actually never seen a production of it. So I'm thrilled that this will be the first time I've actually seen it. And they're great actors. They're three really great actors. I know these actors from the theater. I, I'm not a television watcher that much, so that I, I come not expecting to see a television person that I've never seen, but to see people I admire already. I like Mamet's work because of the speeding and because of uh, the pacing of the play and because of, like, uh, I don't know, there's a genuineness to his characters that I can really appreciate. I just think, you know, his cadence is he, he's just really one of those writers who sounds like no one else and it's naturalistic and it's interesting and it's real and it sort of feels musical and rhythmic and it's fun for actors. Yeah, it's, you know? uh, he's, he's got a kind of a, a, a tap into, into a pretty... Um, pretty fundamental honesty about a lot of things and I think that's what people really get excited to, to be able to, to do on stage. Mamet's a real talent. He was, he said in an interview, a waiter at Second City in Chicago when I was starting my career there as an actor in 65, 66. So uh, let's see what the waiter does. He's a, he's a big talent, you know. It's been a long time now, so I'm really curious to see it again. I, I think I might have been too young to really get it when I saw it the first time. And I was so, you know, distracted by Madonna's presence, <laughs> so this will be a good uh, eye-opener tonight, I think. I'm really interested to see if now, like 20 years later, if he's mean enough, um, now that I've experienced uh, the, the show business for 20 years, to see just what he had to say about it. You know, any business, any business where there's a lot of power involved and, you know, show business is all about, you know, bartering and dealing with power, so yeah, he gets it pretty right on. It's, uh, it's so exciting to do, but this is particularly exciting because it's Mamet and it's, you know, I learned to act in Chicago, so to get to do his work and sort of tear it up is, uh, is exactly what to this to me is sort of the definition of what acting is all about, getting to tear, tear up this kind of language. and you know, throw it down with another actor like Jeremy, it's cool. I feel very honored and lucky to have done so many plays with Mammoth, but really to my first play on Broadway as a director to be doing this play with this cast. It feels great. It's a little overwhelming, um, but you know, it's always been a, a dream of mine to do theater and to do Broadway, so it's, it's awesome. It's been fantastic, actually. I mean, I think Elizabeth basically was like born on stage or something. She, this is her second show, and I just can't believe it. It's a roller coaster ride, but it's true. It's, it's, it's watching three um, amazingly skilled actors do some writing that you won't get a chance to see every day. It's a story about Hollywood, but really what's at the heart of it is it's about friendship particularly friendship and betrayal between two guys who work very hard. And the bottom line is the work. And whether the work is done well or the work doesn't go well. And obviously it's, there's a big empty hole in that friendship, which they don't realize until the work's falling apart. The show is still relevant, to be honest with you, because it's about many, many things. It's about the collapse of the economy, eradicating fear, and doing something in this life that means something, or just doing something for money. So it's art versus commerce, the truth of yourself in this life. What do you want to do with your life? I think this play has more resonance now than it ever had with audiences, uh, about, you know, sort of the culmination of where our world has gone. I always thought it was an amazing play. And when, we, when I picked it up again, um, when Jeffrey and I were talking about doing it, Jeffrey Richards, the producer, I, I couldn't believe how timely it was. I mean, just in the issues about what Karen talks about, about the environment and the economy collapsing and everybody being frightened, and then all these lines that Bobby Gould has about a maverick. I mean, it's really uncanny because he wrote all those lines in 1985. Some NYU students saw it the other day and they said, when was this written, last month? I was like, no, it was written 20 years ago. They had no idea. Boom.